New rule could reduce immigrants' use of LTC services. Facility gives community 100 unneeded beds, and providers get new drug waste rules this week. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, August 21st, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Advocates warn that immigrant senior citizens could be forced to choose between paying for long-term care support and losing their immigration status if the federal government's new inadmissibility rule goes into effect. Last week, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security published the amended rule, which is set to take effect in October. The rule targets poorer legal immigrants who are seeking to become permanent U.S. residents. Once in effect, the rule would allow the government to base the green card decision on whether that immigrant could later be seen as a financial burden on taxpayers, meaning poor immigrants could be denied if they use government benefit programs such as Medicaid and food stamps. It was also noted that one in four home care workers are immigrants and the new rule could impact the support needed to care for seniors. A Pennsylvania nursing home is making fans of its wider community, students, and environmentalists by giving away its gently used hospital beds and mattresses first come, first served. Elk Haven Nursing Home in St. Mary's, Pennsylvania recently bought 100 new beds to unify equipment at the facility. But that left officials with a quandary, what to do with fully operational beds without sending them needlessly to a landfill. Elk Haven Administrator Arlene Anderson told the local Courier Express to get the word out. Staff members said they had heard of people having difficulty getting hospital beds due to cost and insurance restrictions, so outreach to the town of about 13,000 people 120 miles northeast of Pittsburgh seemed like a good idea. The 120-bed nonprofit rented a storage trailer for the new bed parts so maintenance workers could gradually assemble them and swap them into use. Community members requesting used beds are called to pick them up as soon as one becomes available since there is no extra storage area in the facility. The first 10 are committed to the Clearfield County Career and Technology Center for teaching purposes. We'll be back right after this break. CNA TV. CNA TV. Memberships have changed over the years. This has been your long-term care news update. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA. CNA TV. Don't miss out on any of the great programming on CNA TV. Subscribe today. Some providers could be forced to change how they dispose of hazardous waste pharmaceuticals thanks to a new regulation that goes into effect today. Under the Environmental Protection Agency's tougher rules, healthcare organizations will be banned from flushing hazardous waste pharmaceuticals into the sewer system. Drugs such as opioids and chemotherapies will have to be thrown out via proper channels. The maximum fine for offenders who don't follow the rule could be more than $70,000 per day per violation. Many say this rule change could force numerous providers, distributors, and pharmacies to change their waste processes. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.